Thank you for joining us to do this interview. It is such an honor to have the three of you in one room and so unusual. So thanks for being here in Chicago. Tommy, I want to start with a question for you. With all the disruption occurring in the profession, not just domestically, but internationally, why is our profession so well positioned? I think we have a strong profession globally, regardless of our differences, because we speak the same language. Uh, we speak the language of business. We're the trusted advisors for uh, successful business owners and those that aspire to be uh, business leaders. Barry, when you um, think about all the change that's happening, uh, what do you think or who is driving change in the profession? Well, the obvious answer is technology, but I think it's a bit more complicated than that. I think we live in a world of changing expectations, which of course, at least from a firm perspective, a public accounting firm perspective, uh, it's how do we meet expectations, how do we provide services that are valuable, what will those services look like. So technology drives some of those changing expectations, but there are other things like some of the geopolitical issues, some of the economic uh, dependencies that clients or businesses have on each other. How do you really affect change generationally, the technology and other things in an organization? Uh, all of those things are very complicated and very hard to do. And Tommy's point about we well positioned is true, but not every place in the world is evolving and addressing some of these change issues at the same pace. And I do think there is the potential for more gaps over the next decade. But I also think when you look at the, the worldwide economy and you look at technology, as Barry says, I think part of the issue is we also have this shrinking world. We have globalization going on where people have access to cheaper, cheaper talent all over the world. So even if there wasn't technology, you'd still have people saying, well, gosh, I can, I can get really talented people somewhere else in the world for 20, 25 cents on the dollar. Why wouldn't I start factoring that into the delivery of services? So what's enabling it is that you have technology that's, that's happening at a fast enough pace that it makes it easier to access that worldwide talent. It makes it easier for us to, to train and communicate.